Hey guys, my name is Brian Jen, and today we will take a look at the mise-en-scene and visual themes of Old Boy. But more on that later. For the uninitiated, Old Boy is about a man who gets locked away for 14 years. He's let out and must find A, his captor, and B, why this happened. Warning, this video contains major spoilers. The scene you're currently watching is one of the most famous and obviously impressive scenes from this movie. Years before the rise of Alfonso Cuaron and his monster one-take scenes in movies such as Gravity and Children of Men, this scene set the bar as one of the longest and most tightly choreographed fight scenes of its time. While it is extremely well done, there are many other scenes that are well planned and make this film old boy so good. Today, I want to focus on how the director, Park Chan-wook, constructs these very intricate scenes, also called mise-en-scene. To put it simply, the art of arranging a scene. Mise-en-scene is a French expression used to describe the design aspects of a scene and everything that encompasses it, including the set design, lighting, space, and composition. The modern interpretation of the word, though, refers to the use of a single take shot, like the hallway scene, to show you the aforementioned elements. Wes Anderson is notoriously good at this. His films have a distinct visual style that sets the mood and sometimes even reflects the character's state of mind. Assuming mise-en-scene includes elements from both definitions, let's take a look at its use in Old Boy. This is one of the first scenes where our main character, Otesu, goes missing. Instead of a close-up of Otesu's friend and then a wide shot to show his disappearance, the director Park Chan-wook decides to circle around the characters. You initially see Otesu in the background, but once we make a complete revolution, he's gone like magic. He does this pan around many more times in this film whenever our protagonist is losing control or finds out another shocking piece of information. Compare the use of this type of shot here, used to represent a state of confusion, versus a Michael Bay film, where it's used to make the hero look cool and show some other cool stuff in the background. Not judging, just making a comparison. Okay, maybe totally judging. This is actually how I feel after watching that. The length of these scenes don't draw attention to themselves because they're not obviously long, but they are done in a single take. The benefit of doing scenes this way is to give the actors space to really inhabit their characters and environment. Instead of cutting away and only capturing a part of the action or the performance, you can get very cool scenes like this. And this. The downside is it takes a lot more energy to plan and get just right. Whenever possible, Park Chan-wook tries to move his camera to capture a scene instead of cutting. He also likes starting the shot up close and then moves it, either zooming out or panning to different parts of the scene. Once again, this is only possible because of the strong scene composition. Because the set pieces are so well done, the camera has the freedom to move, and as it moves, key information is revealed to us mirroring Otesu's own journey of peeling back the layers. This zoom out and the previous circling camera technique are both used to reflect the character's internal struggle, and this is a great example of mise-en-scene. But aside from the expert camera work, the transitions also assist in mise-en-scene. Watch as parts of the current scene meld with the next scene. He uses this technique if the character is deep in thought or recalling a memory. This creates the illusion of one take when it's actually two distinct scenes. 물론 난한 번은 느껴본 적 없지만 여기는 이유진의 펜트하우스 아닙니다. 정막한 밤이네요. But more on that later. Let's talk about some other visual choices the director makes. Look at the character design of Otesu. How his hair is all over the place and is generally messy, reflecting how he feels on the inside. He briefly looks well groomed in the end when he thinks he's figured it out and taken back some control. But for most of the film, his appearance is sharply contrasted against the meticulously dressed Li Wu Jin, the primary antagonist who is in control to the very end. 
In mise-en-scene, you derive information from the visuals, so their outward presentation matches their inner feelings. This isn't just done on the character level though. We also have the intricately patterned walls that our characters inhabit, another way of showing their fractured internal state. But so clear is Park Chan-wook's vision, even the characters' names serve to complement the visual themes. Oh, Otesu Oedipus. It's a not-so-subtle allusion to the classic story of Oedipus Rex, the man who ends up marrying his mother and killing his father. This homage to the classic story leads up to this incredible yoga pose, which by the director's own admission was used to represent the god Apollo, whose character is the one that reveals the prophecy to Oedipus. It all came true. Every single word. Finally, let's take a look at one last motif, which is a key part of the mise-en-scene in Old Boy, because it is a distinct visual choice that helps set the mood. Can you guess what it is? I'm talking about the color red used in many of the backgrounds and worn by the characters. It's a constant reminder of the many different themes. Of love, of virginity and innocence, of violence, of blood. All of the major characters wear red at some point, and aside from the general themes it represents, it also reminds us that they are all connected by their past, their relationships, their tragedy. Mise-en-scene is a broad and all-encompassing term. Nowadays, people use it to describe shooting a single take, but I think it's more subtle than that, as I've also used the expression to highlight different visual elements or motifs used by the director. If there's one thing to take away, we can say mise-en-scene is the artful way in which the director chooses to tell his story. Park Chan-wook's films look beautiful because of his attention to detail in every aspect of a scene. The set design is also great because it goes hand in hand with a story that is equally focused with everything we see setting up and alluding to the devastating finale. This film is fantastic and besides an explanation of the mise-en-scene concept, I honestly just wanted an excuse to talk about it. Thanks a lot for watching. What does mise-en-scene mean to you? Let me know because the definition isn't set in stone. Share this video if you want to educate anyone or if they are fans of Old Boy. If you haven't seen this film but sat through this video, I highly recommend you see this film. While I have given away many key scenes, I have somehow managed not to spoil the epic twist finale. But even if I had, Old Boy is an example of masterful stylistic filmmaking and it is worth the watch. Please like and subscribe if you want to be notified when my next video comes out, and I'll see you all next time. Oh,